for this tutorial you will need the elastic lace, any stretchable fabric you have at home, I'm going to use 4-way stretch polyester, some soft lining fabric for the gusset, the scissors, some needles to pin the fabric, the pico elastic, You also will need to have the threads, which are matching your elastic and the fabric, the pendant and the bow for decoration. And how to make this little guy, you can find on the tutorial number 2. The piece of chalk to outline the pattern, the lighter and the pattern. If you have yours, you can use yours, but for those of you who doesn't, I'll attach the link with it in the description box below. Fold your fabric in half and on top of the fold, place the pattern. Outline everything using your chalk and after, cut it off. Fold the lace in half and make sure that the scallops are matching each other. Then place the pattern on top of the scallops edge. Outline everything with the chalk and after cut it off. You need to have two front elements, two gusset elements, one on the main fabric and one on the lining fabric, and one back element. Place the front elements face to face to each other. Then go to your overlocker or sewing machine and sew here. To sew this place I'm going to use a rolled hem, but you can use the standard hem on your overlocker or also you can use your sewing machine. When you finish to sew, it should look this way. Grab the lining fabric, place it with the right side up exactly this way. After, grab the front element and with the right side up, place it on top of the lining fabric. After, grab the gusset and face to face place it on top of the front element. Pin it with the needles. After, open the gusset and roll the front element inside exactly this way. Then grab the back element and with the right side up place it here.
roll it as well. Grab the gusset and put it on top of the back element face to face to each other. Pin this place with the needle. Now go to your overlocker or sewing machine and sew here and here. When you finish to sew, it should look this way. And for this I was using a standard overlocker hem. Turn the fabric on the right side. Grab the scissors and cut off the threads. And if some fabric is coming out, cut it as well. And trim this place. This line should be smooth. Do the same on the other side. Grab the lighter and burn the left over of the threads. Grab the Pico elastic and sew it on here and here. Place the elastic on top of the fabric face to face to each other. And yes, elastic has the right side and the wrong one. So basically you need to place the elastic right side to the right side. And after sew it here. When you start to sew, you don't stretch the fabric. You stretch a little bit only the elastic. Check your elastic everywhere and if you see some fabric is coming out, then grab your scissors and trim this place, but make sure do not cut the elastic. Pull the elastic this way and now sew one more time here with the settings you can see on the screen. When you finish to sew it should look this way. Fold the panties face to face to each other and align the side seams together. Pin them with the needles.
grab the lighter and melt the elastic. And stick it together. Do the same on the other side. This will prevent your elastic to slide while you are sewing. It should look this way. Now go to your overlocker or sewing machine and sew here and here. Place the elastic under the needles. And start to sew. When you finish to sew, it should look this way. Do the same on the other side. If you use this technique, your elastic will be on the same level. Grab the scissors and cut off the threads. Then burn the leftover of the threads with the lighter. Next step is to sew the side seam. This is our back element and this is our front element. And this is the side seam. Make sure that the side seam push to the back element of the panties. Then grab the needle and push it inside the same way like I'm doing here. Grab both layers of the elastic and block the thread. If some elastic is coming out, just cut it off. You need to grab both layers of the elastic and put the needle inside of the loop, exactly the same way like I'm doing here. When you finish to sew on top, you need to sew on the side here. The principle of sewing is exactly the same. You grab a little bit of the elastic and the side seam and you put the needle into the loop. Keep sewing this way. Block the thread exactly the same way like you see me doing here. Do exactly the same here. You need to place the bow in the middle of the front element. And I would like to add the pendant to my bow. Grab the bow and punch the needle from the back. After, grab the pendant and sew it on.
Now grab the panties and place the bow with the pendant in the middle. Sew it on with the few stitches. 